And here's the one thing that nobody saw coming, and this is the competition of states. I don't put companies here in New York anymore, or in Massachusetts, or in New Jersey, or in California. Those states are uninvestable. The policy here is insane. The taxes are too high. We put them in Fargo, North Dakota, mm. because 40% of the people work elsewhere, including Boston. So I was, you know, of a, a bit of a debate with Elizabeth Warren about this, but I say, look, Senator, we've got to move the companies out of your state because you're not investable anymore. You're punishing people if they're successful. You overtax them. You hit them with a super tax. New Jersey, what a mess. New York, uninvestable. In Wait, California. why is New York uninvestable? Try and do a project in New York. Try and build but a yet, data. I'm asking, Don's point, is it beyond the taxes? Oh, the regulatory environment is punitive. I had a project in upstate New York behind the grid in Niagara Falls for electricity, a global data center we were building. Eventually, it got so bad with the, the politicians in the local region and the state policy, we moved it to Norway and all the jobs. Wow. Norway has it now. Thousands of jobs coming out of that. I mean, that is... That's New York, uninvestable. Sorry, don't shoot the messenger, just telling you the way it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's it, uninvestable. Some pushback from our, our elected officials in New York I on that. I was just going to say Kathy Hochul. Yeah, but I'll debate it, them any time of the day you want. Uh, any, we would love to set that the AOC, that. she's great at killing jobs. She kills jobs by the thousands. You know, another New Jersey problem. Where did Amazon take their jobs? They took them away from her. She threatened to sue them if they created jobs. I mean, this is a reality. This is a reality that the business... There's a little more to it, but let's not relitigate well, that. Well, you know, sorry, I'm just telling the truth. He's, he's saying what a lot of people are saying, especially what happened with that Amazon thing here in New York. Just real quickly, I don't want to hog the conversation, but what, what was Elizabeth Warren's response when you said that to her? Look, I have a lot of respect for her because it's okay to have a debate about politics, but not policy. Mm -hmm. When you have punitive policy... You're making a mistake. And I want to just put up my hand and say, I don't agree, Senator, with your policy. I respect you as a politician, a very successful one. You know, she's very successful. And that's the state where I grew my kids. I mean, our family grew up in Boston, Massachusetts. We left there to move to Florida like everybody else is because it's such a tough place to... You know, this is a tough message. People really are critical about this, but somebody has to call it out because this is a competition of states now and we don't put money there anymore. We put it in other places, and jobs are created elsewhere. Over time, this is going to diminish New Jersey, diminish New York, diminish Massachusetts, and California, out of business. Out of business. El Morte. No business there. You can't do business there. I don't know what that place is going to turn into. Maybe a tourist zone, but no business. Imagine San Francisco. You can't even walk at night out in the street. Sorry. Can we talk about what's happening, though, in